Cheers to everyone for watching. My name is Mitchell Hall. I am Canadian and I review Canadian albums. Today I'm going to be talking about an album that I enjoyed this year but I didn't get a chance to review and I think needs some more attention. And that will be Tim Baker's debut solo album, Forever Overhead. Tim Baker, lead singer-songwriter of... Hey Rosetta, a band from St. John's, Newfoundland that rose to popularity with the explosion of indie music in the mid-2000s. I managed to see Hey Rosetta back in late 2015 when they toured with Yukon Blonde, and I caught Hey Rosetta before they went on an indefinite hiatus at the end of 2017. Tim doesn't struggle with arranging another large band to record and play live all of the songs. There's a bunch of horns, a lot of choirs, a lot of guitars. But Tim does face the dilemma of losing six other members of which he's played with for the last 12 years. This gives Tim the opportunity to showcase his songwriting, which he does so by localizing these mundane themes and characters and writing a lot about nature. Spirit was the first song debuted on this record. It was shown on a CBC radio program based on Newfoundland. And it's a really beautiful finger-plucked folk ballad where we see lyrics about being a gigging musician in Newfoundland. There's very natural metaphors for this character Tim is portraying, with Tim's voice getting more passionate as the song progresses, leading to a climactic key change and the whole band is coming in. We have more songs about people and about friends, such as on the song Hideaway, a song about Tim wishing that people would show themselves for what they are and what they like to do, with a metaphor of opening the shutters on this person and letting the sun shine through. The song Two Mirrors was kind of nice. It was about a best friend of Tim's. I really like the line, fuck 2017, because honestly, fuck 2017. <laughs> And I think one of the neatest songs on here is the track Strange River. The song is a metaphor for having sexual experience. I think the outro is really interesting on this. At first I thought it was just about getting out of the house and being part of the city, but I think you could probably guess what it's about. One of my favorite songs on this record is the opening track Dance. It's such a wonderful, beautiful ballad. Tim's mostly on the piano for this as all these musical ideas start to enter the fold one by one. The music is just opening up as Tim is just expressing that he wants everyone to come as they are. I wanna dance with you, that's all I wanna do. On the opposite end, the song Don't Let Me Go Yet is a song about needing to leave but not wanting to. And I like the lines of Tim referencing uh, how much he loves being a part of the band when something transcendent happens. There's a few songs with pretty prosaic environmental themes, such as Our Team, a song about the ultimate value of life depending on what you do with it. And Tim is promoting here that the highest value in his life is when you're connected to nature. The song All Hands is another environmental song, but here Tim is kind of reconciling with the past and wishing that he can go back to places and times of his life. The one that I love most with the environmental theme is the song of the sound of the machines. I read into these lyrics as they're about making music, but I think what Tim is trying to get at is the use of sight. Things like seeing planes as birds, light as sunlight. My least favorite song on the album would probably be the song Pools. Tim is kind of singing with a relaxed, slow pace on wishing well to a former lover. It doesn't feel like there's anything interesting happening with the melody. I feel like it would have been more exciting if Tim was singing in a panicked or maybe a very sorrowful way. But Tim plays with the theme of guilt the best on the track The 18th Hole. It has a string quartet with Tim at the piano. The lyrics are a little bizarre. It sounds like Tim is at a wedding of his ex-lovers at a golf course, and using the metaphor of the 18th hole to kind of illustrate the end and the finality of this relationship. But I also see this as Tim regretting leaving Hey Rosetta as well. As far as critiques go, I feel like Tim's indie rock flavored tone played to his advantage on this record. It did produce sweet music, but it would have been cooler to hear more experimentation. Maybe some longer form songs or some big musical passages, for instance. It was also not easy for me to hear the beauty of this record right away, because it's not that attention-grabbing, it's not that energetic, unless you're already loving or a fan of what you're hearing. I think Tim laid down a great record that both separates and defines himself from his past work. But for now, on Forever Overhead, I'm feeling a light to decent seven 
on the project. If you liked hearing what I had to say on Forever Overhead, go check out some of the songs in the link down below. And if you liked hearing me talk about music, you can go ahead, like, comment with your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to share it with your newfie friends as well. Bye. Cheers again for watching. Special thanks to my subscribers. My name is Mitchell Hall, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one out there.